Hi, today I'd like to show you how to use the eCropScout uh, free app. So when you start out, you're going to get the screen and what you want to do is register. So you'll go to, uh, when you register, it takes you to the grainshed.com site. Uh, that will turn around and send you a Scout ID. You take that uh, in an email and take that Scout ID and put in this white box. I put down Remember Me so that it syncs up properly. And then go ahead and hit Sync. And it will uh, sync with the website and um, know that you're registered. Once that has done, you'll get this uh, white box. <clears throat> and then you'll uh, be able to use any of these uh, weed, insect, and disease scouting sheets or the chemical application sheet. So at first I'm going to show you the weed, insect, and disease scouting sheet. First you have in the top area you have clients and then you have crop condition area. The second area is the weed, insect, disease scouting sheet and the third area is the application area for putting down chemicals and things like that for your weed, insects, and disease. So we'll start out uh, up in the left hand corner you'll see that it says it has a logo. You can go ahead and put your logo in that spot. Uh, you just click on it and um, go ahead and um, if you have a logo uh, JPEG or something sitting in your file system it will uh, you can pull anything into it. So here we start out with the client. Uh, I've put in already the top farm as one of the clients. You can put in other and add more clients to it. So we'll go ahead and hit top farm. Then the fields that are associated with the top farm, the one I put in was uh, back 40. If you need other farms, you just hit other and you'll add more farms into there, which then will be associated with that top farm and will come up each time that you uh, bring that top farm up. So. We go ahead and hit back 40. The date will come up. You can change the date uh, to any day or time you want, or, or uh, you know February, March, whatever works for you. Then you hit done. Uh, it automatically puts it into the date area. Crop wise, you have these different crops to pick from. Go ahead and stick in corn. Uh, then we'll put down uh, two inches planting depth. I clicked on the average population and then you get this little box uh, saying that um, you need to put in the value. So basically it's saying that you need to put in some populations and it will average those populations for you. So if I go out and scout and I had 32,500 plants in one test, another test I had 34,000 uh, plants and another test I had 36,500 and another test 36200. Uh, it will average all those together and and give you that average. You don't have to put in four, you could put in one and that's all you have to put in and it will put that into that average population area. Now to get the last one to average you just have to click somewhere else so I just clicked on the soil moisture and then it averaged that average population. Now, if you want so soil moisture, you go wet, sufficient, dry, or in between, whatever works. Uh, then you have crop conditions. You have these to pick from, so you could pick average or other ones. Uh, then you have crop stages, which match to, we put in the crop corn, so that will show up there. So let's say we're at B1, percent of county planted. Let's say we're at 95% planted. We just put in the state, uh, whatever state you want to put in, and then you'll have counties that are associated with that particular state. So then uh, we go over here to irrigation and we are not under irrigation and let's say Tom scouted the field. So now we're at the point where we could go ahead and do the weed and insect disease areas. If we didn't want to make a map, we'd go ahead and fill that out. If you want a map, on the iPad, this is where you have to make the map uh, because when you come back from the map area, if you had filled in anything in the weed, insect, and disease area, it would it would you would lose that. So um, 
uh, with I and that's strictly with the iPad. The Android version that's not a not an issue. Uh, so on the iPad, we'll go ahead and uh, you know click on uh, Map, and then it basically brings in, you into a Google Map situation here, and um, you can uh, pick out a field. Let's say you're right next to a field; it'll show you right next to that field, and then uh, you can kind of center it to where you want. And once you get that done, um, you could go ahead and save that Google Map. Um, so then I've go ahead and save that. Uh, then I go go get a map. Now I can I can go ahead and um, you know I could do JPEG maps. I've entered a whole bunch for my growers. You can get those from Surety, Agridata, or you can get you can just go to your farm service agency and get those maps, and then go to your printer and scan them in as a JPEG map. Then go ahead and sync up your iPad to the to the computer and download them into there. So you, you have different options. You also can use the camera camera function here which will take uh, you can go ahead and take a picture of anywhere in that field you want and save that. Once you save these different maps um, then you bring them ba basically into um, into this program and then now you're able to draw on them. So I can go ahead and uh, with my finger I can draw in certain areas to show different problems in the field. Um, I can go ahead and you know say we've got some issues in this area right here. Um, that type of thing we can say well we got some ragweed there that we need to um, you know address. So you can pretty much do what you want. You can draw on them in any way you want. Um, I could divide the field in half and say on the left side could be area A, the right side could be area B, and that could correspond to where I'm spraying. So you can do whatever you want. Um, then you can go ahead and save that uh, back to the um, uh, photo library, or you could clear it and then redraw anything you want on it, um, and then basically save it again. So once you get back here, you've saved your map, you've drawn on it, you go ahead and save it, and then you go back to the uh, scouting sheet, and now we'll go to the weed, insect, and disease area. So we'll go ahead and click on that, and then it basically comes up with this box saying you need to make the map first if you really need a map. So just kind of a warning to you, um, strictly on the iPad, not on the Android. So we'll go ahead and we got scattered uh, to patches in the field of foxtail, and they're two inches tall. We've got volunteer corn, it's scattered. Um, we've got yellow nut sedge patches. Uh, we got Canadian thistle, let's say it's five inches. You can put in the inches if you want or just leave it um, blank. That's that it doesn't matter. Um, so we got some velvet leaf scattered to moderate. We got some water hemp scattered to moderate to patches in the field. Now you can go ahead and change these uh, weeds to whatever you want. So you have the different weeds here and you could put them in different order and then you also have others. So I can go ahead and stick in up a different weed that maybe corresponds with the area that I live in and you can kind of customize this to whatever you want. The same thing over here in the grass section. You can customize it to whatever you want. You put other in there and the perennial area here you got the same thing. So it gives you that ability to kind of fix it towards your particular area. Um, then we get into the insect area. We could go scattered. Um, we got patches of cutworm, you know, things like that. Again, you can go ahead and change these in any order you want. Um, you can put in other if it's not in there that fits your area. And then the infestation also, you can change that to fit whatever insects you put in there. Same thing goes with the disease and infection area for that. You can change those to whatever matches your particular area. Then we get down here, we can do notes, you know, maybe um, wet in low areas. Uh, whatever you want to put down, you know, if you have irrigation, you can put some notes in there for irrigation, that type of thing. So we have application area one. Maybe, maybe that's uh, area A. a um, we can put down. Um, so in that area, we want to put uh, two, basically two pints of. Um, uh, let's see. Why don't we go a couple pints of Halix? Uh, per acre, we got some non-ionic surfactant, uh, one pint 
per 100 gallons. We need some ammonium sulfate with that, uh, 17 pounds. Oops, right there it is per 100 gallons. So you can see how fast that goes. It's very, very easily to work, easy to work with. These uh, these two two top ones will have um, some of the surfactants, methylated seed oil. Again, you can change, you can add. To that, um, and then I I list I put this third one as uh, kind of 28% ammonium sulfate, so you can customize it to whatever you want to do. This is how it comes to you initially. Um, it's good until say Friday, um, or you could say three days. You got some notes there you can put down for um, maybe that want to use a different nozzle. Um, maybe this is area uh, B. Uh, maybe we've got, um, we're going to put down 3.6 uh, pints of Halix uh, per acre, anionic surfactant, 1 pint per 100 gallons, ammonium sulfate, 17 pounds per 100 gallons. So you can see how fast that goes. Now down at the bottom here we have add map. So I'm going to go back to where I put down that map, and I'm going to go ahead and and um, put that on there. It basically I just attached a map to the back. I can grab any map I want. Um, then we're going to go here to create PDF. You can decide to do the colored map or a black and white. If you like to print them out, or your grower does, do them in black and white. Uh, we'll do color on this one. Um, now what it's doing is generating a PDF file of this scouting sheet. And then the back, the second page, is the map for that. So now it's said it was successful, and so, um, but you must now save uh, the PDF. So I'll go up here and I'll save it. And it's basically asking where do you want to put it. I can put it in iBox um, or iBooks and uh, or Dropbox. And some people like to sync up with Dropbox with all their devices or their other scouts. And um, I like to put it in i iBooks. Um, and then basically it sticks it in there. The reason I like iBooks is because then it's there for me next week if I'm the same one scouting that field. So once it's in here, you can see it's one of two pages. Um, I can go ahead and email that if I want or print it. Then uh, you can see that the second page is the map, the first page is the scouting sheet. So basically that's the uh, program and how to use it. You can see that you have the um, ability to go ahead here and use any of these um, scouting sheets, um, whatever works for you. So thanks for taking a look at this.